Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We are continuing with our AI only championship series. We are in round two, episode two of the finals. Well, I mean, episode four of the finals, but you know, episode two. So, uh, first part of this second round, Gorgo ended up going pretty crazy against Wil uh, sorry, Chandra Gupta. They're at war once again, and then over here on the other side of the world, we've had Wilhelmina and India be at war for quite a while. Uh, uh, Gandhi ended up conquering quite a bit of Wilhelmina, but Wilhelmina has responded and Gandhi is now in uh, last place. So it's kind of interesting how that one worked out. Also, uh, Chandra Gupta does have a Dark Age right now. So some of his cities are flipping to Golden Age Gorgo. Gorgo has a huge tech advantage, has a huge culture advantage right now. So she should just be able to start like... Um, just advancing that score way ahead of all the others, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, anything major here on any of these victory types? Doesn't look like it. Religion's still fairly even, too. I imagine this wonder score is gonna start getting a lot higher for Wilhelmina, or sorry, for Gorgo, but I don't know. I keep saying that, and she's not really building any wonders right now, so maybe not, other than the Golden Gate Bridge. And I don't think anyone else is building it. Shana Group has been building out a lot of wonders. He's actually working on on the Statue of Liberty as well. So, he seems to be interested in getting as many wonders as possible. Um, these battleships, dude, my gosh. Yeah, they're gonna start doing some damage. Uh, but she needs some melee units to probably take Warrengal. Uh, she could definitely take a bunch of cities here, I think. Yeah, I really do think she's positioned to do a lot of damage. Now, Jalampur is gonna be, I think, a little bit better for her than Ahmad, uh, whatever, um, the bad city. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. She'll be able to hold on to any of them. Um, they're still at war with each other. Still not really a whole lot happening over here. Whatever happened to the settler you ended up stealing? She ended up jacking one of Gandhi's settlers, but I'm not sure what she did with it. Yeah. I thought she was coming to settle over here. How far behind is he? He's still in second place, Chandra Gupta, and that's with being um, just absolutely pretty much wrecked by Greece. All right, so Warren Gaul is going to end up flipping over here to Greece then. Let's see how many turns. Five turns. Yeah, you're definitely going to flip. I would think Shania is going to flip as well. I would think. How close to it is it? 7.8? Eh. And you're like positive by like 0 0.1 or something, right? And then 4.9. It's pretty close. Jal uh, Jabalapur has a lot of units surrounding, but they're all spec armies. And she's not really actually attacking either. The modern AT would be pretty decent, if she, especially the modern AT army. What is that? 100, I think? Uh, AT. Modern AT. 80, 90, 100. Yeah, that's 100. That's going to do a lot of damage there if you actually move it up. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. Okay, she's going for Amabad. Amadadabad. I should look it up. I should look it up because I keep saying it. Especially since it's been, like, the focus of all these wars thus far. But I'm pretty sure we're about to see, like... Well, I was going to say she was about to take it, but she has no units nearby. Uh, what? Well, if she takes it, then that's going to be pretty much the end of it, because I don't think we'll end up popping back. I think I think she has such an advantage here, she really could end up probably taking most of Chandra Group here, if she wanted. She has freaking rock bands already. <laughs> we're probably we're going to go to 325 no matter what, even if she ends up winning here. Um, I think that's just going to be the most fair thing at this point. Uh, but man, she is just absolutely dominating everything right now. It's kind of crazy how she just went absolutely crazy. Uh, and now she does have more wonders than anyone, which is what I thought was going to happen. I really did think that was going to happen. Um, were there any wonders in this city? Yeah, the Kotoku is over here. So grabbing that city would be helpful. Although once again, she just kind of stopped the push. She did 90% of the work and then stopped. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's up with their decision making right now. It's not the best. Not the best. You two are still at war. Are you still at war? Ah, oh, you peaced out. That's what happened. So, Shonda Gupta must have paid a pretty high price. I'm actually surprised Gorgo accepted it. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why. She's freaking rolling with modern AT cores. Oh my god. She's gonna have death robots here pretty quick. Probably. Like, look at the tech advantage right now. My god. Jeez. Absolutely crazy now. Well, I mean, is working on Broadway. She's also working on the Hermitage. Interesting. I'm wondering if Gorgo already should have access to both of those. But Gorgo seems more interested in popping out units. I really wonder if Gorgo is going to end up coming and knocking on Wilhelmina's door here before too long. Because Wilhelmina is not particularly strong. 
She has a lot of units over here, too. I don't know. The world's small enough now that I would not be shocked to see a bunch of these guys face each other. Um, she's a little shy, or Cole is a little short right now. So all of her uh, battleships are struggling. Looks like she's going for Vilnius. Uh, as is Gandhi, but I don't think Gandhi's going to be able to take it, mostly since Gandhi has no troops there by Vilnius. Now, that's just going to immediately flip to uh, Wilhelmina, so that only benefits Wilhelmina. All of these calves, man, and just not doing anything with them. Uh, no one settled this northern part of the island. Okay, there goes Chandragupta. So he's basically just been able to uh, um, stay in second place just because he keeps paying off, essentially, uh, Gorgo, which is kind of hilarious right now. It's been a bad game for everyone except Gorgo. Except I will say Chandragupta has played pretty adequately just because he's survived multiple wars now where he should have no right been surviving. All right, so we got yet another war going between these guys. She has freaking flood barriers up. Oh my God. There literally is no climate change and Sherry has flood barriers done. <laughs> and she's building planes. Like, there is no reason she should not be able to just absolutely destroy all of Chandragrupta. This is essentially Gorgo's playing as deity right now and everyone else is playing as like Prince. Which is not the case. They're playing all on deity, but it just feels that way. So, who did those spawn against? Those spawned against Wilhelmina. And it looks like Gorgo actually spawned them. And then it looks like she is going to get a free barbarian builder because of that. That's actually hilarious. Oh, she's also at war now with... Yeah, she's also at war with Wilhelmina, so she declared a double war. Maybe they are allies? They're allies, that's why. Uh, so she actually declared war on Wilhelmina then, and um, uh, uh, Chandragrupta just came in on the war. Okay, that's what happened. Well then, that's a bad day for Wilhelmina. Poor Wilhelmina, man. She got culture bombs and traded out to Gandhi. She's had more wars declared against her than like probably anyone in this championship series. She has dealt with the most aggression, probably compared to anyone. And yet, somehow, she still made it all the way to the finals. I think she would probably get the MVP. I would be honest, I would probably give it to Wilhelmina. Just surviving multiple uh, uh, Mongolia aggressions, multiple Chandragrupta aggressions, like, and somehow making it all the way to the finals. Even if they don't win, I think she probably deserves MVP. Arnheim will get conquered. Uh, I don't think there's any way that Gorgo holds on to it. While she's in this golden age, maybe. But the is going to end in six turns, so probably not. Not a whole lot of time left. What's the score looking like? She's at 1,400. Shana Grupta got 1,700 last time. So we got to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, Shana Grupta is at 800 right now. So if the game ended right now, he'd be at the 2,500. Where Gorgo would be at about 2,000. So, uh, Shonda Groups is still gonna have a pretty huge advantage score-wise. Uh, Arnheim did flip. Military emergency failed, so essentially that just means Gandhi didn't come in on the war. I don't know if he would've voted yes anyways. Oh, Gandhi's also at war. So everyone's at war against Gorgo right now. All right then, Gorgo. Fight the world. So we got a world war. I mean, there's only four civs, so. And Gorgo and Gandhi are still at war with each other, which is just kind of hilarious. So Chandragrupta is kind of in just the best spot right now. He's just letting everyone else do the damage. And the fact that, like, God, she has freaking planes over here. She has all these units, and somehow she just hasn't taken any of these cities. It's just like. And the one city she did take ended up flipping back. Dude, Chandragrupta got so lucky in this game. But, I mean, to win a championship, you got to get a little bit lucky. Arnheim is full loyalty right now. I wonder if that means she might piece him out or is she gonna push? Yeah, they pieced out. She seemed very willing to piece. She really has for whatever reason. Cause considering these guys have literally been fighting the entire game, you know, the fact that she keeps piecing people out is rather interesting. Was there any wonders in that city? No. By the way, did we get a normal age? We got a normal age. What the hell? Uh, Gorgo and Gandhi got golden ages and the normal ages for the other two. So once again, loyalty is definitely focused towards Gorgo here. She's got, what, a uh, little, about 80 turns or so to take. I'm a, I'm a, whatever. <laughs> uh, I should have looked it up. I thought it was going to get taken. I thought, it, you know what, you know what, you know what? Stop making excuses, Brian. Spell it out. A-H-M-A-D. A-B-A-D. Pronounce. 
pronunciation. Let's learn together. Shut up, Gorgo. Amadabad. 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 See, it just feels weird saying it. I don't know. I think it's my white guy, you know, tongue that it just doesn't sound good. <laughs> Uh, it's like, even if you pronounce it right, sometimes things just don't sound right. It's like, you know, if I try speaking Spanish, you know, I sound like a white guy. It's just, you know, I don't know. It's just like, you know, just, I, certain things I just can't pronounce well, I guess. You know, whatever. So, uh, Jablapur, whatever, would be really beneficial if Gorgo could take it, just because there's going to be a couple wonders there. Actually, three wonders in here alone. So that's 45 points if she's able to take that city. Now, the fact that he has the district there, it, it, I just don't know what she's doing right now. If she, she really could just absolutely dominate it. She's Panama canaling through here, and then she has another canal there. That actually works pretty well for her. And she still has such a huge advantage. I don't think she's shooting off any rockets, though. I think she's definitely going domination victory. Yeah, I think she's definitely doing domination victory. But he, she's had modern AT or modern tanks forever and modern AT forever, too. Like, she should have been able to absolutely destroy and take over all of these Indian cities. So it's just kind of mind blowing that that hasn't happened yet. Um, how punishing was losing Arnheim? It wasn't really that terrible. There were no wonders over here, so it wasn't really that big of a deal in the scheme of things. Uh, I wonder who finished Broadway. There it is. So she ended up finishing Broadway, okay. Did Statue of Liberty get finished up here? Yeah, Statue of Liberty got finished up there. What's Wonder Score looking like? 195, 135, 120, 30, okay. What's her score? She's at 1760, which is higher than Chandra Gupta's score for the first game already. And there's still another 50 turns. Okay. So she's going to have a pretty decent good score then. Interesting. Interesting. So she's not out of this. This third map is going to be rather interesting. We're going to have a pretty even... Uh, um, um, I mean, I'm going to say pretty even, but I'm pretty much everyone's going to still be in the game, I think. All right, Artillery Corps definitely should be able to do some damage here and do some work. She also has nukes. She has nukes. Well, at least she has the ability to build nukes. I wonder if we're going to see some. She is shooting rockets off. But remember, we're going to go 325 no matter what, even if she ends the score. Since we did that, Buenos Aires did finally get conquered by Netherlands. I figured it was a matter of time before that one ended up getting lost. Uh, Mont St. Michel has yet to be built. Hmm, interesting. Special session of Congress. That's going to be against Wilhelmina. Uh, who accepted it? Uh, just Gandhi. Okay. Well, the infinite war is going to continue even more. How are our islands looking? So, Chandragrupta got one island. Then Gorgo popped out a couple more. Gandhi has Ranchi over here, but there's no way that's going to stay. And Mathura is still holding on over here. He's actually building the Hermitage. I wonder if Wilhelmina is ever going to be able to flip that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to... I'm... Whatever. Um... Debot. I'm a Dabba Dabba. Whatever. Ended up getting conquered. It's trying to play the freaking... I need just to have a recording where I push a button and just pronounces the city for me. Would that not just be the best option? That's what we need. We need a mod where someone goes through, pronounces every city right, and I can, like, right-click the city name, and then it pronounces it. And then it's like, blah, 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 has now fallen, you know? And then I can provide commentary. My gosh. I do apologize. I do apologize for my terrible pronunciations. I understand. Uh, Mumbai ended up loyalty flipping. No, it got conquered. Yeah, it got conquered, and then it loyalty flipped out. Oh, she went all the way down to Delhi and conquered it. Actually, I wonder if maybe Gorgo was the one that conquered this and not Wilhelmina. I don't know. I don't know what she ended up using to conquer all that. Yeah, rather interesting. So, now the question is, is Gorgo going to come up here uh, to Jablapur? Because that one, like I said, is going to be the pretty big major one. And if she's able to conquer that, that's going to put uh, Chandra Group to now down uh, under second place. Death Robits coming out. Ooh, buddy. We got some Death Bits. Some Death Robits. Let's do it, man. One turn. They are popping out. She's doing the Mars Colony, so she's getting pretty close to a science victory. Probably we're still going to get to 325 before it happens, though. Because... AI's kind of hit or miss whether or not they shoot off the rockets any quicker. Um, 
Okay, so here's the only downside. It looks like she might take Patna, which in which case she will probably end up piecing out Chandra Gupta, which is going to be bad because that means she's not going to end up taking the city. Also, terrible timing for those barbarians. Terrible timing. Terrible timing. Death Robots are incoming. Now, Death Robots at this point in the game only have one promotion. They're not going to be particularly great. They, they don't have the uh, wall destruction abilities yet. We'll have to see whether or not this means a war piece. If she keeps coming over here and grabbing this, then, I mean, Chandra Gupta is in a really, really bad spot right now. Uh, keep in mind, he just lost another three, four wonders here. It's five wonders. One, two, three, four, four. No, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be a total of eight wonders if he ends up losing uh, Jablapur. That is just absolutely psychotic if he ends up losing it. The Hajjah never got built. Interesting. Interesting. Dude, Gorgo just out teched. It's kind of crazy. I'm kind of mind blown how quickly she just out teched everyone. It really is quite crazy. Uh, that's probably going to be no aid request. Okay. Never mind. I thought that'd be a military emergency. How's her culture? Kind of surprised she didn't win it. And kind of surprised she never won the culture score. Dude, she's at 2,000 points already, and there's still another 25 turns. And keep in mind, she's going to get another couple hundred points here if she conquers the city. Like, and she has two death robots, and they now have two promotions. Like, oh my gosh. The score hasn't updated yet. It hasn't updated yet. It will here in a turn. But, like, my gosh, dude. Yeah, he's down to 635. She's up to 2193. That is psychotic. So, unfortunately, Gandhi's going to probably be in fourth place after um, these first two rounds. He had an okay first game, and he had a bad second game. Wilhelmina is going to be in second place for both games. Shonda Gupta had a great first game, a bad second game. Gorgo had a terrible first game, but an absolutely killer second game. And I think at this point, Gorgo might have the lead going into the finals. Like, what a comeback. She's still at war, it looks like. Yeah, she's still at war, so she she wants more. She wants Shanae. I don't know if there's any wonders left to take. No, that was all his wonders were in those two cities. <laughs> Oi. And the other thing is, like, loyalty flipping is going to be pretty major here, too. There's only 20 turns left, so at this point, Shonda Gupta just needs the game to end as quickly as possible. Low uranium. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, and sh oh my gosh. There goes a third one, too. My gosh. She cannot be sated. She is just going to wipe him off the face of the planet. Like, this is actually kind of hilarious. Because this is exactly what she needed to happen. She needed to punish him and put him at low of score as possible. Wow. This is crazy, guys. Like, is he going to have any cities left? What happens if he loses all his cities? Well, technically his score should be zero, right? No, his score shouldn't be zero because technically he would still have uh, civics, great people, religion, uh, technology, and uh, era score. So he would still have some points. Is he going to lose all his cities? I don't think he'll lose Mathura. Please don't lose all your cities, Shonda Krupto. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to freaking add this. That's going to be kind of terrible. I don't know how we're going to do it. There's only 15 turns left. Uh, Armistar is probably going to end up flipping too. And Hyderabad's definitely going to end up flipping. But I think he's going to be able to hold on to that. It looks like they peaced. Because she's not pushing him anymore. So they did peace. My gosh, dude. She just wrecked his life. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I really don't know what to say. That's exactly what she needed. She's coming now over towards, it looks like Netherlands. It looks like Netherlands is about to get pushed pretty heavily. Um, she's only got 12 turns. She just, she needs this game to end as quickly as possible. Because these death robots are coming in force. So Gandhi, come on. Gandhi's like, please just go kill her. Please go kill her. But like 2300, oh my lord. This is, this is a... Uh, 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 Mongolia level of domination here. I didn't think she had it in her. I really didn't. To just go this crazy right now is just, like, hilarious. Like, look at the tech. Look at the culture. Like, what is happening? She does have the rocket. It's still only going one light year per turn. And I'm mostly thinking that's because... Now she is speeding it up. 
She is speeding up. Yeah, she is speeding up. I still think we're gonna have score time, but I think mostly it's because she's focusing on domination still. She's going for Amsterdam. You gotta hold on for seven turns. You gotta hold on for seven turns. Oh man, I, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I think she's gonna lose Amsterdam. That's gonna be more wonders. Hanging gardens. Yeah, two wonders in Amsterdam. Not as many, but then there's also gonna be a large empire score here. So these death robots having low um, uranium is making them a little weaker than they could be. Dude. Dude. It's happening. Oh no, there goes Amsterdam. There goes Amsterdam. Like, look at how little damage the death robots are taking. My gosh, dude. Just absolutely psychotic. Gorgo just put her foot down and said, here and no further. We are gonna freaking come back. The funny thing is, apparently the world ruled by Gorgo is pretty okay when it comes to climate change. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess that's it. She just doesn't want, you know, the world to burn, so she's conquering it by force to make sure... She's burning the world down to make sure it doesn't burn. You know, makes sense. Four turns left, so we are gonna get one more era. For one turn, at least. And then we gotta be ready just to write down some scores here. So... Those are the right scores, okay. We just gotta be ready to write scores down as quickly as possible. Um, Mike, look at the mini-map! Holy crap, dude! Yeah, Chandra Group has this one town left, and it took some damage too, but I'm pretty sure that's because of a flood, yeah. yeah. He doesn't have any cities now. You're gonna flip in six turns. My gosh, dude. So he still has 544 score with just one city. What are we at? Three turns. I didn't want to talk to you. Uh, Harlem ended up flipping. Ultrek is about to flip as well. Trevidium's gonna flip here. Like, but there's only a couple turns left. So, get ready on that print screen button. Get ready on your pen. Let's see what the last era is gonna be. Golden Age for Gorgo. Everyone else probably eh. The funny thing is, so she's gonna win here any second. Probably right about the same time. So we gotta make sure that it's actually at 326 when we calculate score. Um, I still don't think this is the next era yet. Yeah, here we go. So, Dark Age for both Indias, Golden Ages for the other two. Wilhelmina is still in second place, but not by a whole lot. This might just be enough score to make up for the fact of the terrible first game. Yeah, this might just be enough. Ultrek, oh my gosh. Are there wonders in Ultrek? Yes, there are. There are two wonders in Ultrek. No, uh, three. Oh, no. Oh, no. One turn. Is she going to be able to take it this turn? Is she going to be able to take it? Yes. She took it. Oh, my gosh. That's another three freaking wonders. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, be ready. Be ready. Just one more turn. Uh, 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 print screen, print screen, print screen. 28, 26, 28, 26, 7, 20, 5, 40, 5, 22. Gandhi was in last. Uh, that was C, that was W. Okay, I think we got it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw these scores in real quick. Um, and then I'm going to go give you guys the updated scores going into the uh, the last round. So we'll be back in one second. Oh, man, these scores. So it's a fairly close game for the most part. So Gandhi's in fourth place with 1932. Then uh, Wilhelmina is actually in third place with 2229. Shonda Gupta has the slight advantage over her with 2282. But now Gorgo is all the way at 3420. So she has a 1200 point lead going into the last round. That is psychotic considering how far behind she was after that first round. So really it's going to be her game to lose. But the biggest thing is if someone like Chandra Gupta or Wilhelmina has that same kind of game where they go absolutely psychotic, you know, we can see a huge swing. Um, because what? Wilhelmina was 
1200 points down in the first round and now she's 1200 points up so that was a 2400 point swing that is ridiculous that is ridiculous all right that's gonna um be it for this episode hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like comment let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button join the game comment share your support i'll see you guys later bye everyone